Hey, what's going on everyone? Today's February the 3rd, 2022. I'm going to talk about your finance today. I want us to see whether or not this particular market is going to crash. Are we getting a crypto crash warning in the market in your finance? Before I do, hey, welcome to the channel. This is what I do. I do price prediction. You guys can see it right now. I got a price prediction already on my chart of what I was expecting the market to do in your finance. You guys can see it. Now it's been a while, so I'm coming through again today to give you all an update as to whether or not this price can crash in the year in finance. Appreciate it. Hit the like button. Share the video. Also subscribe. Follow me on all my other social media platforms because I do post other articles, other content there on those mediums to make sure that we all stay updated as to what I'm seeing these markets go. All right. So check this out. Yeah. I was expecting the price in year in finance to go up on the 19th of December. I did a video on that particular day talking about it. And you guys can see it. Yeah, it did go up. Now, did it go all the way up there to $43,340? No, it didn't. The market in your finance ran out of gas right there around 40,000. Yep. So, go back and listen to my video to see if I told you that that's one of my price target areas cuz I'm quite sure I did. One was 36, second one was around 40,000 and then the next one was around 43 thousand dollars so you had that one opportunity to come in and grab that forty thousand dollars out the market which is around 25 and a half percent so that's a decent move for us to do a video on the 19th of december and then ultimately get 25 and a half percent on the 3rd of january it's pretty good right there All right now that is done that is over we have to be forward predictors we got to think forward as to where price is going to be in order for us to dominate and win in the cryptocurrency in order for us to make money we got to do that we cannot be thinking on things that has already happened into the past to figure out okay what's going to happen next we got to be forward thinkers not backward thinkers so check this out let me zoom out and you guys can see it here this is the market action in your finance right this is the overall consensus of everyone who has ever bought or sold yearn crypto in the market right here so we have a very tight narrow area that i want everyone to focus in on this is where the majority of the price action has occurred now we can say that for instance if the market in yearn finance was to break outside of this trading channel we would say that this is a massively strong market because we broke outside of this massive consolidational trading range but we're not instead we're seeing the price in the year in finance come down to that support level that tells us that the market is generally weak right now so all of our attention in year in finance needs to be focused in on us holding support so this video is going to be mostly geared towards that we got to focus in on that because if we do see the market in your finance hold the support area we know we're golden we know that the buyers are still here in the background trying to consume up as much your finance as they possibly can and not let the market fall and drop that is what we need to be paying attention to right now so let's see what we got because we want to try to get a chance what's the probabilities of us not seeing the buyers hold price in your finance right here on our support area around eighteen thousand dollars what do you think the probability is so now i'm going to go ahead and extend out these two lines because it still plays a vital role in us knowing what the market is trying to do so let's go ahead and look at the market in your finance real quick on a three-day time frame and let's see what we got right because you guys can see every price bar on this chart is three days worth of price action some have very wide spread some have very small spread some got high volume some has no volume at all it all tells us something now let me circle this okay look at this I want you all to tell me something what do you think that means no literally what do you think this means because it means something and don't make this complicated you can only get two things out the market buying and selling that's it anything more you're confusing yourself this is the only thing you can ever do in these markets is buy and sell so what do you think all of these three-day price bars that i got circled mean buying do you think it means selling from my standpoint that's massively selling this market is getting hit with more sellers than it is with buyers so already we need to be thinking that the price in your finance is going to continue to go lower right we need to start to think that right now because this is what the chart is reflecting this is the five day 
You see any strength? Do you see any weakness? Look at this on a weekly. What about on the monthly time frame? Yeah, the monthly time frame is even weaker. We saw a very good month right here. We'll give the market credit and the buyers credit for the month of December. It was a very positive month for us to start the month out going down, bouncing off of 18,250, and we ended up closing up there towards 32. Pretty good, excellent job. But they couldn't follow through. They failed in January. So generally, this market is still weak. Yeah, it is. Now, I already have my eyes fixated on some support areas. My first one is still down there around $20,000. My next level is 18,005. This is where I'm prepared to see the buyers try to approach the market. Three months. We got a month and 29 days left, and this is massively weak even here on the three months time frame. Two months, same thing. Right now, we definitely are seeing weakness here on the chart. It's the two day time frame. So, yeah, I'm looking for the price of your finance to come down here at least to 20,000 to 18,500. Now, this is where the test is going to happen. All right. So, let me already go ahead and drop this price prediction down because we see it. The market is letting us know how it feels day in and day out. Every time that the market trades, it gives us a heads up as to what's coming. So I'm already prepared. 18,000, I mean, $20,000 is first. You guys can see it. That's about 11.64% market move to the downside. Would you be nervous? Would you be scared? I mean, especially when you have someone here in your corner giving you a heads up as to where they're looking for the price to go. My second price level is right there around 18,200 which is around 20 and a quarter percent. Cool. I'm prepared for that, though, because I can see what the market is saying. Now, this is where the first area of restriction is into the market in your finance right there. Twenty eight thousand dollars. We're going to continue to be bearish into the market in your finance until we see the price break up above that level. Twenty eight thousand dollars. OK. Now. The chances of us seeing the market in your finance break this support area is greater the further you go out to where we can see the market hit sixteen thousand dollars right now i'm going to hold this on the chart i'm not looking for it to do sixteen thousand dollars yet but i want to show you all where we can go okay so the three price targets that i have the first one is twenty thousand Second one is eighteen thousand two hundred and third is around sixteen thousand dollars. This is it. You guys can see it right now. OK, now it's your turn. Just like I give you my price target, just like I give you my price predictions seen on a chart. I want you all to tell me what do you think? What is your price target? What do you think the market in your finance is going to do next? Seriously, let us know. All right. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always. Trade different.